Bad News Breakdown. We've tried this once before. We're bringing it back. The premise is very, very simple. Sam, Steve, and I will be bringing a story to the table where we kind of talk about it, break it down, dissect it, and then pose a question to you, which we'll be answering. My story today is about science. We finally have the scientific reasons behind why people choose to watch other people play video games. Hmm, science, In I like history. it. And today I want to talk about first impressions of Batman v Superman because the premiere was last night and uh, press is on an embargo, but fans of course are still gonna tweet out their opinions and it's so far really good. Also some other Batman v Superman goodies, which I'm really excited about. Ooh, my uh, story is about how there is a new PlayStation 4 coming. What? Not a PlayStation 5, a PlayStation 4. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's go. <clears throat> um, apparently what uh, Kotaku is calling it is the PS4.5. And the reason why this is happening is because apparently there is not enough hardware uh, capabilities in the PS4 to um, power the new PlayStation VR that's coming out. Oh, okay. Um, but I mean, mm. maybe there is, but they want to like soup it up and make it better and kind of compete with um, what the PC is doing with the Oculus. Oh, uh, you know, Oculus is coming out soon. And of course, PlayStation has their PlayStation VR thing coming and they want to kind of compete with that. Um, also, the PS4 does not output 4K resolutions. Right. Mm -hmm. And also the drive doesn't read 4K uh, discs. So this is kind of behind on the times a little bit. And now 4K is becoming a huge thing with gaming and such. And so uh, what they're trying to do is just soup up the PS4. <clears throat> and apparently Xbox is kind of doing the same thing too. Phil Spencer, who is the uh, head of Xbox, says that the kind of hardware update during a generation for a console isn't necessarily a thing that is not uh, it's a thing that they want to happen. They okay. want to do that, Could which is very strange. Could they please call it the Xbox One R so we can call it the Xbox One ah, 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 ah! I don't know why they'd willingly do that, <laughs> yeah. but I'm into, <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's and weird because this seems like something that console companies want to do now. They want to like update their consoles in the middle of a console life. My question to you guys is, is do you think we need a PS4.5? Because um, there's usually like five to seven years between PlayStation consoles, mm -hmm. like PlayStation 1 all the way to PlayStation 4, and we're not quite done with the PS4 yet. I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> the PlayStation VR seems like, and it's way bigger than the Kinect was for Xbox, but yeah. it feels like the same kind of gimmicky thing with right. just for PlayStation. That didn't make me want to buy an Xbox anymore, even though I had one. I didn't buy a Kinect. And, I'm, and I don't have any of the next-gen consoles minus a Wii U, which is embarrassing. But that just doesn't make me want to buy it more because I don't own discs for anything like any movies, I have them all digitally. So why would I go buy a 4K player? Well, the reason why they would mm. say they would want you to have 4K on the PlayStation 4 is because they're saying games will start to be and able to cool. display in 4K. But that doesn't make me want to watch it more. I feel or like buy it more, sorry. Technology mm. is um, getting better and better too fast at a rapid rate. So it's like they're trying to catch up with themselves almost. Uh, yeah. I, I think that this PlayStation 4 is still in its peak. The yeah. sales are through the roof. They're completely mm. dominating the market oh, at the yeah. moment. The fact that they're trying to better themselves when they're already winning seems mm. a little bit like you're overachieving. Calm I just, down. I it's think okay. that, yeah, it seems like they're kind of, they're not only are they competing within the console world, but they also want to attack PC, mm -hmm. which is like a very dangerous area because yeah. the, the PC is already kind of like, Definitely the top contender when it comes to gaming. Yeah, it'll always be superior because you can constantly update the hardware. Right. Yeah. yeah. And like and it's always it's personable. You are you can personalize it. Not only that, it's so much easier to pirate games. <laughs> on the PC. There you go. Oh no. Oh, but no. Uh, my final question is is do we want midlife console upgrades? Mm -hmm. Do we want like in the middle of the life of a of a console for there to be like an upgraded one that you can go buy in addition to the one that already exists, even though there would probably be a new one coming out soon thereafter. PlayStation yeah. has so many upgrades all the time anyway. I yeah. feel like I'll get a new game and it's like, would you like to update? Tough shit, let's go for 30 minutes. And you're like, what? <laughs> but Why that's you... fine because you could just software update in the middle of the that's... night. You don't have to worry about that. They need to future-proof their consoles. If mm. technology is possible. feeding through. Future-proof is a... That's difficult. It's, uh, yeah. It's like when they wanted that, remember that phone that was supposed to be completely modified, like you can completely modify it, like it came in pieces. Oh yeah. And you could change, like you wanted like a 50 megapixel camera and only a little bit of battery life and it can make your coffee for you or something like that. Yeah. You can build it like that. Wait, if they made a console like that, that could be cool. Uh, that yeah. could be interesting. I don't know, I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think their consoles will ever really make it to where the PC is as far as customization goes. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is, I don't know. I'm not into this 
PS4.5 thing. I don't think anyone who owns a PlayStation 4 will mm. be excited by this because mm -mm. they're still using it, but maybe it's enticement for people that are like, well, VR, all right, let's get the 4.5. Well, and if you're on the fence and you want a PlayStation because you want Uncharted, you want all these like oh, Naughty Uncharted. Dog games, then like maybe you wait for this one, but then like, what is it? Like a year later, they'll have the PS5? Mm. Yeah. So what's the point, really? Mm. I don't know, it's interesting. I'm running out of room in my cabinet space as well. Yeah, same. Mm. All right, so my, uh, my story that I want to talk to you guys about is that finally we have a scientific study that actually reveals why people like to watch other people game. Mm. Now, uh, some people in the mainstream area who don't uh, actually game feel like streaming is a waste of time and, in fact, we get our life choices constantly questioned. Ah. But this study is talking about the breakdown of how your brain acts when watching someone game. So let me try and explain this to you using really technical terms. Please. The first one here um, is this study talking about uh, the mirror system. And it's a part of your brain, of course. which basically mirrors what, and when you're watching someone do something, you feel it yourself. For example, you have a cup there. Would you like to take a sip? Sure, I like that. All right, so you doing that action actually activates your mirror neurons in your head. Me watching you do that activates that same part of the brain. And oh, now you're not thirsty it? anymore. Now you're doing that's it and me doing. seeing your it. Your thirst is quenched. Same yeah. thing. <laughs> so for example, if someone's playing a game that's strategy based, like League of Legends or Counter-Strike, you're watching them play a game and it's activated the same thing in, in your brain that they are playing it. So you actually have the, the, it's like the same kind of thing. So it's like if you don't have the game, like I understand it if it's like a brand new game uh -huh. and you're like, you don't have it and you're gonna watch someone play it because you wanna see how that goes. That's almost the same as like playing it to your brain, I guess, yeah. is that what they're yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And the other kind of games that you see out there is personality driven streaming. So it's someone going, this is a frustrating game. Watch me be fun and zany and crazy watching it. Then it unlocks something in your brain called empathy. And we all know what empathy is, it's when you can understand and tap into someone else's emotions or thoughts. So that kind of gaming is the same sort of thing where you're feeling and experiencing the same emotions that the person playing the game does as well. Hmm. So we kind of already knew all of this. Yeah. It makes sense, but now the scientific study behind it is actually pinpointing what part of the brain's activated, which I kind of think is cool. Yeah. But fascinating part to make people really sit up and listen when talking about watching people stream games is in the science report, it says the person least likely to enjoy someone watching a stream are psychopaths. Makes sense. Wow, that's insane. Too. Yeah. That's crazy because I don't consider myself a psychopath, but I don't necessarily enjoy watching play watching people play video games. Mm -hmm. Like I just want to play it myself. You right. Know? Well, that's like, just called being selfish. Yeah. No, I, or, I mean, but you know, I paid for the damn game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Do play I have it. to share it? No, you don't. No, you don't, Steve. They don't? No, you don't. Now, the reason why psychopaths uh, aren't really in good at enjoying watching people play video games is because they lack a lot of empathy, and it's the empathy that really gets people to tap into the emotions of the game or the person playing it. See? Plus, okay. psychopaths would rather be killing people and wearing their skin that's than watching them play video <laughs> yeah, You make the, uh, your silverware out of their bones. That yeah. would take, that's way yeah, much more fun You don't have time to play a game. Yeah, of course. Or even watch someone play a game. So the question that I'm posing to you guys is, what do you think about streaming video games? Do you want to watch someone play games or not? I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Are you pro streaming games or nah? Yeah, why not? I yeah. used to actually watch uh, a few people play Minecraft because like that's a game that requires a lot of time and effort and like learning curve. And so if I get to just watch somebody play it, I don't do it anymore. I don't have the time to do it. But if you do, it is nice to experience the game without having to do any of the work. Yeah, yeah see, I don't mm -hmm. want it to end. I don't want people to stop streaming games yeah. because obviously there's a lot of enjoyment people get out of that. Yeah. But it's just not for me. Of like course. it's not my thing because I just want to play the game. Mm -hmm. I want to play it, you know? Well, or so would you then stream you playing the game? I've, I've streamed games that I've been playing, yeah, and for some reason people want to watch yeah. that, mm -hmm. and that's cool, and I think that's fun, because then I have someone to talk to while I'm playing my game, mm -hmm. I guess, but I don't really necessarily like watching it. I like watching movies, because there's like a narrative, and there's a story, and I don't have to like, worry that someone's gonna go into the wrong cave and they're controlling it and I could have gone into a different cave. Okay, do you like watching director's commentary on movies? Yes, I do. So this is kind of like, I mean, there's no like creative input from yeah. like someone watching yeah. a game when they're playing it, but it could be related. But I guess it's like, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. with a director's commentary, you learn about how the movie was made. True. When you watch someone play a game, you're just kind of getting their perspective of the game unfolding. But you are experiencing it through someone else's point of view. That's true. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'd love to know your thoughts to that question. Third story. Third Sam, story. Up. Of course I'm going to be talking about comic book movies, okay, guys? Batman v Superman premiered last night. Told you guys that. Uh, and reviews are in. Mm -hmm. And they're really, really positive. A lot of people are saying, uh, you did hear something, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, most of the tweets that are coming out are saying that, um, 
The biggest uh, applause was from Wonder Woman. I actually have That's a very cool. uh, specific tweet uh, from Ashley. Ashley. I can confirm the loudest applause of the night at the BVS premiere was Wonder Woman's entrance. Wonder Woman definitely won the night. And also, if you guys were worried about Man of Steel, if you weren't a big fan of Man of Steel or that second trailer that came out where you're like, they showed too much with Doomsday and whatnot, yeah. spoilers. I don't know, I'm gonna just say it anyways. Uh, mm -hmm. Rodrigo Marino tweeted, for those who hated the second trailer, or Man of Steel, never fear, Batman v Superman was awesome. I'm paraphrasing, but Rodrigo, <laughs> you get it. Rodrigo, you get what I'm saying. Rodrigo being Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. We're saying, yeah, yeah, it's in front of me, but I don't know how to read, all right? So, uh, <laughs> but also, Zack Snyder in an interview with Collider said that they were thinking about him and Chris Terrio, who wrote Argo and wrote this yeah. movie and Justice League, that they wanted to include the Riddler and the Joker whoa, whoa. on top of everything Oof. else in this movie. You have uh, Lex Luthor, you've got uh, Mercy, Doomsday. you've got Doomsday, you've got Alfred Batman, uh, everybody's Wonder being Woman. introduced. Wonder Woman. Who's Mercy? Mercy, that's uh, Lex Luthor's Harley. Queen. It's also what... Uh, oh. She's great, yeah. The guy says in that song, remember Mercy. Yeah, uh, oh, Elvis. Yeah, that's, wow, mm -hmm. yeah, they... No, it's not Elvis, <laughs> I think it's... Um, guy does Pretty Women. Uh, pretty woman, and that man's name is. Pretty woman. Oh my Wait, come god! Somebody in the comments will help me. Oh god damn it! I'm so sorry. But anyways, guys, uh, I want to know from you, you and you, would you have wanted the Joker Riddler in the movie? And are you still excited for this movie? Because there's a lot that has come out. This movie is a year late. Yes. This movie's yeah. a year late. It's hard to keep hype going yes. with something like this. I mean, the last trailer really helped with the hype machine. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I was at a junket over the weekend and I overheard journalists who had seen the movie. Spoiler alert if you want to know nothing about Batman v Superman going in. Mm -hmm. The feedback they gave wasn't exactly friendly. Mm -hmm. They said that Zack Snyder was trying to do far too much. It's two and a half hours and it sounded like in the edit suite a lot ended up on the cutting room floor. So mm -hmm. they had to cut more and still had two and a half hours. And it meant that the storyline was a little clunky and it was hard to kind of follow the storyline mm -hmm. and what was happening. I heard as well that the Wonder Woman was top notch, really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, and that Ben Affleck's acting was spot on as well. So mm -hmm. I guess, Regardless of what we say, are you gonna watch the movie anyway? Are we excited? Yeah, we've already got our uh, tickets. I mean, look, like? Zack Snyder filmed the unfilmable film, uh, The Watchmen. He turned The Watchmen comic into a movie that actually works, in my opinion. Mm. I think it's the really the only way you could have made Watchmen into a major motion picture. So I have faith in Snyder being able to take these characters and and bring them to the big screen. But did we need two more villains in the movie? I don't know. No. I mean, look, it's just I, I don't that. understand <laughs> the the method behind that. It must be Warner Brothers going like. Just, we gotta throw them all in there. Mm -hmm. We wanna please mm -hmm. everybody. So I don't know. I'm nervous about the overcrowding. Here, really quick. Somebody actually tweeted, did you guys like the Batman animated series, Justice League animated series? Did you ever watch that I watched ever? Batman the animated Batman series. Batman the animated mm -hmm. series ever? They say this is like turning that into a live action. Wow, movie. shit. I mean, of course, That's darker. That's a big plate. But yes. A big plate. Yeah, but those did introduce a lot of characters uh, very sure, quickly. Sure. So that's what this movie is kind of trying to be from this person's mm. point of view. What, what I, my thoughts on this is that this was supposed to be the Superman sequel, it's supposed to be Man of Steel mm. 2.0, and the fact that then they were like, no, oh, Man of Steel and Batman. Yeah, mm, now yeah. you could do it and Wonder Woman. I mean, and it's a long Black movie Woman. though. Maybe we'll get a big chunk of Superman stuff in the we beginning. Should, we should wait for yeah. Justice League. That's when you bring in the old stars. Uh, uh, hey now. Isn't Aquaman star. also in this? <laughs> and Flash. <laughs> and, and Wonder oh Woman boy. and a bunch of right, other we'll people. We don't need two more we'll villains. See. Yeah, we got enough people. Especially if the heroes are not even seeing eye mm -hmm. to eye. They're uh, already against each other. Don't hey, throw What if it's all. just like a mess? Like it's just people are just slapping each uh, other. I mean, look, we thought like Avengers was going to be too many superheroes mm -hmm. in one movie, but they made that work. That was Joss Whedon, though. And people are commenting that Captain America is like, that has a lot of characters, too. It's like, that's different. We've had movies with these we people. Have, yeah. We have. These are characters that are established. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it yeah. is still the A versus B. That's still a big theme happening mm. at the moment. True, true. Yeah, we'll but, see. Uh, but guys, let me know your thoughts on the trailer. And also, when the movie comes out, let me, you gotta tweet us all of your opinions because we're gonna be doing a special. But wait uh, until we've seen the bloody movie. Wait until we see the movie. Don't be a <laughs> no goddamn spoilers. asshole. Please, don't be an asshole. But we will be doing a special review on Friday. Yes, that is, <laughs> they're all our stories. All three mm -hmm. of their stories. Just a recap on the questions that we're asking you. Steve, you're wondering about the PS4.5? Yeah, I sure am. Do you guys think it's worth it to put more money down on an another PlayStation before the PlayStation 5 comes out? I wanna That's know from question. you, are you for or against watching other people stream games. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, did you want a Joker and Riddler in the movie? Are you still excited for Batman v Superman? Let me know down below. That's yeah. all you have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're there, like and subscribe. Yeah, mm -hmm. please if do you that, want to. that'd be great. If you want to. If you're up also, for Also, I want to know what love is. There you go. I please want let you to us, show me. Yeah, let us know down below. I don't know if I'll show you. I think, um, I don't, I think. 
Also like our Facebook page. <laughs> I liked your joke, I still liked it. Like our Facebook page, and also later today we're doing a full season two review of Daredevil. It will be up later tonight. DJ Matt and I spent 13 hours here wow. in the Jesus office Christ. watching all of it, and it's amazing. It's yeah. very good. Was that, Way that better than season one. Were you, how was that on your body and your mind? I was a little that? sick after, but yeah, I okay. think that's okay. You know, it's worth it. It's for you guys. It's for you Yay. guys, so be ready for later tonight uh, on the SourceFed Nerd YouTube channel. Well, that's it for today's Nerd News Breakdown. Thanks so much. I'm Maud. I'm Sam. And I'm Steve. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, there's porn on there. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, 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 there's porn on there. You're into some weird text shit. <laughs> and the last piece of news for the day, Marvel has officially announced that Game of Thrones actor Finn Jones has been officially cast as Iron Fist. <laughs> 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 <laughs>